Hello and welcome to the Blue Review. Today we're talking about Ghost Town from DreamWorks Home Entertainment. Ricky Gervais made a name for himself with The Office and Extras, but unfortunately it wasn't enough a name to carry Ghost Town to become a box office success. And it's kind of a shame because Ghost Town is actually a really good movie. I think one of the problems is, is that it's almost more of a drama than it is a comedy. And if you don't get Ricky Gervais' comedy, there's not going to be a lot of laugh-out-loud moments in this movie. He's, he basically, he plays a character that doesn't want to have anything to do with people for various reasons that you find out throughout the course of the movie. He's a dentist, and basically he lives like right next door to his practice. And um, one day after going in for surgery on his bowels, he dies. And when he wakes up, he can see ghosts. And basically the ghosts want him to, you know, solve their unresolved problems that happened before they died. I was surprised at how dramatic the film was. And I don't mean melodramatic. I just mean how serious it was as opposed to sort of laugh a minute. But there's a, an enormous amount of heart to this movie. The ghost part of this movie is almost sort of put to the side, and it's more of a kind of a romance story. I just thought it was excellent, and it has one of the best lines at the end where she says, uh, <clears throat> it hurts when I smile, and he says, I can fix that. The picture quality in this one was, eh, it was, it was okay. It wasn't nothing spectacular, neither was the audio. I'm going to give both about a three and a half to four star. Till next time, sit.